run through the basic of setting up a layer 7 gateway on a Mac OS using the VirtualBox. So the two software you need are VirtualBox and the layer 7 SSG OVA file. So when you have these two, you import your layer 7 OVA file to the VirtualBox. Can stick to the basic configuration and once you are done click import and this is going to take some time so once this is all done the next thing you need to do is to set up the network for your layer 7 ssg so go to preference the network with the host only. So for here, I've already created a default one, which is VBOX Net Zero. So this is the IP address which will be used for your layer 7 SSG. And remember to note it down. So once this is done, go to the settings for your OVA file under network. Go to adapter two, enable it, attach it to the host only adapter, and make sure that it's attached to the uh, VBOX Net Zero we should create the earlier on. So once it's all done, power it up. So the default login is ssg config the password is 7 layer which i have noted down here so once you are in you need to reset your password so you can key in your current password which is 7 layer and then you key in the secure password which is 12 7 secure dollar sign 0 and Once this is done, the first thing you need to do is to go to one, configure system setting, go to one again, configure your network, and once you are in, go to two to set up a new interface. So the interface name will be ETH1. You will enable interface on boot, configure IPv4 networking, so it will be static. So the IPv4 address. This one 192.168.56.2. You can give it whatever IP before you deem suitable as long as, as long as it is one, it's an incremental value of one from your gateway IP address. So let me get in 192.168.56.2. Oh, and then mask is 192.168.56.2. So gateway is 192.168.56.2. So configure IP for six, no enter one two six, no. You will need to set up your default IPv4 gateway interface. So the address will be blank. Uh, for interface you wish to use as your default gateway will be ETH zero. So once it's done, we'll enter a domain name or host name for our gateway. So in this case, we'll be layer seven. Gateway. So we do not have a name set for now, so we blank, no search engine, click blank. So you can change the current time zone to the to your to the time zone that you reside in. So for now we'll leave it as America. So we go, so and once it's done, apply the changes.
So the next thing you need to do is to go to use a privilege shell tree. And the default password here is seven layer. So just the one we used previously. And once you're in, you need to change the password as well. So we will use the we will change it to the secure password, which we have used in the previous one. So what we need to do now is to edit the host file. So you click Shift A, you go to Insert Mode, go to a new line and key in the IP address which you entered from the admin setting earlier. So which will be 9192.168.6.2. And then key in the host name which you use. So once this is all done, click Escape. Colon WQ right into the into the uh, host file. So once this is done, escape Q. So once this is done, you can check on your um, whether whether you have written into the host file by doing this slash see that the new IP address has been written into the host file. So once this is done, exit the privilege shell. So the, thing, the next thing you need to do is to reboot so as to apply the new configuration. Config password is the secure password which you have used earlier on. So you need to first thing you need to check that the network has been changed. You go to one, you go to two, display current configuration. So as you can see, the IP address which we had used earlier on has been configured to the host name layer 7 of gateway. Once this is done, go back to the first page, go to 2, display layer 7 gateway configuration page. So we need to create a new layer 7 gateway database for your gateway. So go to 2, and this, so this, will, this will assess your network configuration and choose the network configuration which we have set up earlier on. So for this, we will uh, click yes for the new setup database configuration. The database host name is host, port with 33306 the default port, main database name is host G, username is A, the password is host 7 layer, database name and password. So for the root user, the default password is 7 layer as well. We will not configure database failover. For the SSM username, this will be your admin user, and the password we will set it to 7 layer. So the cluster host will use the host name which we have which we have configured early on, layer 7 of gateway. For the passphrase, we will use 7 layer as well. So once this is done, enable your enable your database, click yes, and enter the wait for configuration to reply. So for all of the username and account inside database, we will stick to the default password of 7. Once this is all done, click enter, continue. So to see the status of your layer 7 gateway, you can go to 7. So what this does is it will assess your database to give you a to let you know whether is it starting or running. So as you can see, our gateway is starting. And this is based on the timestamp of uh, to give you a current timestamp. So we need to check it again, so we will go back to the previous menu. 
So let's give it a while before we check and make sure that it's, uh, it's, it's going to be running. So let's check now. Starting, so let's give it a little bit more. see our gateway is running now so how you're going to test it is go to your browser the 192.168.6.2 so the port number is i443 ssg slash web and proceed so if you see this page it means that you are connected you are now connected to your gateway and the password to use admin and seven player which we have created earlier on and that's all folks this is how you set up a layer 7 ssg on your mac os